You are looking at who is presumed to be the next speaker of the Texas House. Dennis Bonin said last week that he has the votes to take the gavel when the legislature reconvenes in January. He's from Angleton, south of Houston. And the big question now, what should we expect when he ascends to power? Ross Ramsey is the co-founder and executive editor of the Texas Tribune in Austin for us as always. Good morning to you, Ross. Hey, how are you? Doing well. You know, Dennis Bonham's 46. Give us an idea of which direction he might take the House come January. Well, I think it's going to be a little louder, if nothing else. You know, Joe Strauss is kind of a reserved guy. Dennis Bonin is not kind of a reserved guy. He's been in the middle of some of the House's biggest battles with the Senate, in the middle of some of their biggest negotiations over taxes and other controversial issues. And he likes to get in there and throw elbows. I heard people say over the last few days that, that Bonin was one of Strauss's biggest lieutenants. Is that an accurate representation of him? Yeah, he's been the uh, speaker pro tem, the number two. It's a little bit um, ceremonial in title, but it uh, puts him right in line. He's also the head of the Ways and Means Committee, which does all the tax work, and is one of the four sort of main committees in the House, or big committees in the House. He's definitely one of Strauss's lieutenants, but he's also got a real strong independent street. Let, let's shift off to the State Board of Education changing its mind and deciding to keep sure. historical figures like Hillary Clinton, Helen Keller, and uh, even Moses from the Bible in Texas textbooks. What was this all about? Uh, you know, it, it was a series of fights. A couple of months ago, they voted to take the Hillary Clinton and Helen Keller out of the textbooks. They just recently voted to put them back in, and now they're putting Moses back into the 11th grade curriculum as a lawmaker. Uh, you know, these are culture wars taking place in our textbooks. It's been going on for a long time, and these are the three latest figures in that, in that battle. And we'll be going on for some time to come. Ross, thanks. Back to you in just a moment.